All right, let's finish this thing. All we're gonna do now is create two functions, one that deletes notifications and the other one that sees notifications, all right? And then we're gonna pass them to the button. So I'm gonna say this, that, delete notification. I need the ID of the one I'm gonna delete, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say this set state, and as you know, if you watched the React 16 class, we can pass a function to set state. All right, so I'm gonna pass a function and it, this is gonna give me the previous state. All right, let's, let's not call it the previous, current state, that's better, current state. All right, and I'm gonna say new state. All right, and all I'm gonna do is delete, this is a JavaScript thing, delete, previous state, sorry, current state dot notifications ID. And I'm gonna return the new state. Let's see. So here I'm gonna say delete notification this dot delete notification. Okay. Um, I think if you wanted to, maybe we can do it, you could put these things outside of the component. Maybe you can have a folder, maybe you can have a, um, yeah, maybe you, can, you can have a file only for um, actions, right? And you can put it here, move. Yeah, and maybe you can do this, Funch const uh, delete notification equals notification, right? Maybe you could do that thing, yeah, maybe. And this will return. No, fuck it, too, too long. You know what? Do it as a coding challenge. Yeah, do it as a coding challenge. Better. All right, this notification, this delete notification, delete notification. Done. So now all we have to do is notification presenter. All right. And instead of change message that doesn't exist, I'm going to put delete notification, but not in this one because this one is to see this one. All right, so I'm going to copy. No, I can't copy. I am going to, oh, I know what I can do. Cut this so I don't waste life, all right? And I use fragments from React. <sighs> Fuck me, I fucked up. There we go, okay, fragment. Fragments. All right. And now this one will have the store. What is the name? Delete notification. Right. And is going to have the ID. ID. All right. Now I need to do this like this because this means wait until somebody clicks this to execute this function. If I do this, immediately is going to execute it as soon as the component loads. That is not my goal. My goal is to execute this function when they click on it. That's what I do this. And the reason why I do this is because I need to pass the ID. As you, as you remember here, the store chain message didn't need any arguments. So that's why I'm not passing anything. I'm not passing any ID, nothing. That's what it looks like this. All right, this is basic React. I don't know what I'm talking about. It. Okay, so let's see. Go back here and let's delete one. Boom. Awesome, and it updates this as well, great. One more, and one more. Deleted, baby, all right. Now, let's copy this. See notification, I know it doesn't exist. Relax, it doesn't exist, I know. So let's create it very quickly. See notification. By ID. All right, and this one is a little bit different, but it's not so different. Set state, current state, and we're going to return something cool. So I'm going to return the current state plus notifications, and inside of notifications, I'm going to return 
the current state notifications, yes, and I'm going to target the ID, all right, and I'm going to return the current state notifications ID, and I'm going to change scene to true. All right, let's see what's the problem. Current state, current state notifications, this is a comma, and we're good to go. C notification, notification, C notification, done. So here, C notification, this dot C notification. Let's see, we refresh, and an error, there we go. Maximum update, what the fuck? C notification, oh, yeah. You see, that was the mistake I was talking about. It says maximum update exceeded. I keep updating because I keep seeing the notification. Motherfucker. I was just talking about it and I fucked up. All right, now I see the notification. Boom, seen. Boom, seen. And look at this, it's updating. And click seen. And this is it. This is how easy it is to work with a React Context API. I will see you in the next video for the conclusions, but that's it for this course. I'll see you there. Bye bye.